Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel in our water cooler talk on Thursdays. So, I am out of nesting, which is the little more helped call, thanks on fully into production. And I want to go over a couple of quick things that have happened since I started nesting. So, nesting calls are in one block is two hours. And over the nesting period from the 2nd to the 15th of December, you had to get 20 hours in. I got a lot more. I mean, I grabbed hours like grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. <laughs> grab everything. So I got quite a bit more than 20 hours. And I chose to try a schedule that I want to keep in production. So as you all know, I'm diabetic and I have a couple of health concerns and I wanted to keep my mornings free for doctor's appointments, grocery shopping, making videos. Um, I am not like a really good morning person. So I wanted to keep mornings free. I want my cup of coffee. I want my peach tea. You know, I I get up and here. The uh, goat milk hand cream, peach delight. That is one of my favorite hand lotions. I like a slower morning. Um, it allows me to answer my emails, answer YouTube comments, and kind of go from there. So I am in Texas in Central Standard Time and the work hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. They just started doing some Saturday hours for people in production. So I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. The commitment that I have for this client is 25 hours minimum up to 38 hours. Um, I'm going to be sticking between 25 and 30 hours because I have a YouTube channel. I have quite a bit of other things going on in my life. And those hours may increase um, right around March or April. I'm not for sure yet. But I enjoy the client that I'm with. They're um, a lot of fun, very gracious. And everybody working on the project is doing well you know they answer all the questions you have and they're very supportive and help you find resources and tools to go ahead and help the customer so that's pretty good now when I started with this client there was one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars in bonus money um, trust the calculator I also got a fifty dollar bonus from the first week so I have so far gotten $800 in bonuses. I have $500 in bonuses yet to come. Um, when you see, I believe it'll be this Friday, tomorrow's video, I believe another bonus of $250 will be on that check, but I'm not for sure yet. Um, and then there's a last bonus when you complete 30 hours of calls. And that is paid during the week that on the pay period for that. Now, Omni does pay. They hold back two weeks. So your first check, like the second and the third, will be paid out on the 17th. So uh, that will only be two days plus a bonus is what I'm expecting. And then from the 24th and the 31st, because they are paid every Friday, um, those will be full checks. And another bonus in there. So by the time January comes around, I will have completed all my bonuses and I will have started a full-time, well, full-time 30 hours, 30, 35 hours um, in production. And my thoughts on the job. So I assist customers. It is a cus true customer service role. It is not sales. Um, it is not telemarketing. It is not upselling. It is assisting customers with some tech issues, with setting up the products and services, 
um, any errors or difficulties they have, so it's troubleshooting. And there's a lot of resources for doing that. So I'm able to go ahead and either email resources to the client through the company site, or go over it step by step, and just assist them. It is not rocket science by any means, so you do not have to come in knowing bells and whistles over here, over here, ah! No, like a little monkey, no. Um, you know, those little clapper monkeys that have the symbols, and they go boop, 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 that you see on Christmas. No, you don't have to do that, but you do have to know, like, you know, if they're trying to install the product, installation issues, installation error this, you know, and do like a Google search on the company site. So it's not bad. Um, is it frustrating at times? Well, yeah. Most times people are professional, but you get occasional person, manager, manager. I'm sorry, sir, there isn't a manager available. We can do this, we can do this. So there is some de-escalation of frustration, but I try to keep calm, patient, kind, warm tone of voice. So that helps out quite a bit there. And now that I'm out of nesting, I do I feel more secure? Yes. So there was training videos and training meetings every day throughout the day, and it was paid. So if you felt you took a call, like in the morning, um, say you work between 8 and 10 in the morning, and you're like, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling confident. I'm going to go ahead and go into this training meeting and ask some questions and get some more in-depth knowledge about the products and services for the client. And they walk you through it and you ask questions and you're like, hi trainer, listen, you know, I took a call and this is what happened. What do we do? And they're like, okay, well, let's come up, let's look at your screen and you do this and this is where we find that information. Do you feel more comfortable? So yes. You know, they absolutely do feel more comfortable. Did I ask questions? I absolutely did. Um, I learned quite a bit through the trainings during the week. And like I said, they were considered paid. And I do feel comfortable. Like, I, I don't have a lot of anxiety about logging on the system. Um, I don't do huge blocks of time. So I do two hours working, one hour off, two hours working, one hour off, two hours working, end of day. Six hours during the day, cut up in two hour blocks. And, heck kitty. Um, so yeah, you know, it is certainly doable. Now some people just want to cram out four hours and then go to the bathroom. But you have to understand, if you step away from the phone, you are offline and unpaid. For that bathroom break and you've got to have an adherence to the schedule of 95% if you need a drop shift shifts you can do that if it's before 48 hour period and you know just make the schedule that works for you if you're a morning person say you've got children and you're like okay well I know you know I need to get my babies up and take them to daycare and I can start about 10 and then I'm gonna work 10 to 2 and then I'm gonna come get my kids, settle them down, and then maybe I'll work four to eight. You don't work more than eight hours in a shift, and you don't can't schedule more than 38 hours in the week because some calls do go over. Um, and let's talk about that. How many calls did I have? Well, I had about three to five calls per two hour block. So it wasn't much, was not much, and that may change in production. So we are really, really focused on delivering first call resolution, customer service. Now, if this sounds like a job for you, they are still hiring, and I will have the link to the job description down below, and I want you to just kind of consider it, see if that is something that works. Them cats, I swear, them cats. They're moving curtains. Bye! Thank you. Um, if that works for you, go ahead and fill out an application, and I will love to see you in production. 
thank you so much for watching this Thursday's video. I will see you tomorrow where we will be doing a budget. Goodbye.